You are watching a Famicast video review of Yono and the Celestial Elephants on the Nintendo Switch. I am Danny Bivens, the reviewer of this game. When I first saw Yono and the Celestial Elephants on the Nintendo Direct back in late August 2017, I was intrigued. The game was touting to be Zelda-like, but with the ridiculous twist of essentially having a cute elephant as Link. Needless to say, like many of you out there, Yono has been on my radar for a while now and it was finally great to be able to dive in to see what this charming game had to offer. Visuals in Yona are bright, colorful, and varied. There are quite a few locations that you'll be trekking through, including cities, forests, caves, castles, and more. Each location has its own visual elements, ranging from springtime motifs to a beautiful autumn-themed forest, snowy mountains, a coastal city inhabited by robots, and even a graveyard town. Character models also look on par across the board and have decent animations. There is a lot to like here visually. The soundtrack and overall sound design match the visual aesthetic perfectly here. The story and characters in the game were quite surprising. In a good way. Even though the game's cheerful style makes it easy to assume that the content is going to be simple and or childish, Yono and the Celestial Elephants tackle some surprising social issues that are going on in the in-game realm. While Yono has a great art aesthetic and an interesting story, gameplay does have some issues. Most of the exploration and puzzle solving work very well, and there are numerous gameplay mechanics that are used to enable Yono to get through puzzles. You can siphon water with Yono's trunk to put out fires, throw dynamite from dynamite bushes, just like in real life, use peanuts to hit buttons, and more. There are quite a few fun things to tinker around with here. But combat is kind of where the game stumbles a little bit. Sure, the main focus of this game is on the puzzles and the story, but encountering enemies feels kind of like an afterthought. Most of the time you can take baddies out by beating them with Yono's headbutt, using the A button, without any problems. However, if an enemy winds up for an attack, you're not able to use your headbutt and you just kind of take the hit. This can be avoided by m simply moving out of the way, but it felt a bit out of place. I'm also not sure if this was intentional or something that was just simply overlooked. All that said, Yono and the Celestial Elephants has issues, but it is an enjoyable game overall. My biggest complaints, namely the lackluster combat and some occasional glitches, still aren't enough to detract from the enjoyable puzzles and charming, thought-provoking story. If you're looking for a relaxing game that you can finish in well under 10 hours, Yono is your elephant. Final score for Yono and the Celestial Elephants is 7.5. Keep locked here to the Famicast on YouTube. Also check out famicast.com for more reviews, news, podcasts, and much more. Thanks a lot.